everyone. It's Jeff from Volantware and the Badminton Podcast. Just want to welcome you to week five of the six week footwork challenge. We're almost there. We just have a couple of weeks to go and week five is all about integration. So basically integration of all the things we've done over the last four weeks. So front court, mid court, rear court. And then last week in week four, we did the footwork sequences to get you in some patterns and also to get you moving smoothly and flowingly around the court. So week five is all about integration and putting everything together into a full court footwork where you can practice attacking footwork, you can practice defensive footwork, and you can also practice a combination of both. So the challenge for this week is to keep moving, to keep using all the footwork skills you've developed and basically go from attack to defense to attack and defense, go move all around the court and really picture yourself playing the, the actual game and the match itself, okay? So the more realistic you can make it, the better off you're going to be. So let's get into it. Week five of the six week footwork challenge. Let's do it. Now quickly, just before we get into the footwork in itself, just a reminder to anyone who's just watching this video for the first time and hasn't seen the other weeks, make sure you do tune into the introduction, week one, week two, week three, and week four, because we do go through in more detail the footwork that we will be doing, the different options that we have, and the differences between attacking and defending. So next week, I'll be doing a recap as to whether you think my footwork is any better and whether you think yours is as well because you've been following along with the challenge. And next week, there's also a special bonus footwork I'm gonna throw in just for you. So let's get into this week's footwork. Let's try to get 30 to 40 to 50 minutes of practice of footwork this week, full court attacking, full court defending, and a combination of both. So let's get to it. Right-handed first, let's go. Right-handed first. example of attacking footwork. The attacking, remembering, making sure you're taking everything high and early. Defensive is when you're taking it lower and you're trying to retrieve the shuttle in a defensive position. So we're going to go for defensive footwork now. defensive footwork can you notice that I'm always staying low in my legs okay because I need to retrieve the shuttles that are low so make sure you're not too high because it's harder to reach down when you're too high so in defense stay down a little bit okay and now we're going to do a combination where you can go attack and defense in the same footwork exercise in itself okay let's go Enjoy, make sure you get through it this week. Well done, you've made it to five weeks, we're almost there. And I can guarantee you that my footwork is better, I think, we'll have to see next week. But I do think that if you have followed this, your footwork will be better too. So let's get to it. I'm gonna keep going here and we'll see you next week, guys. All the best and make sure you reach out if you've got any questions for me. Um, this footwork series is a basic footwork series. It's not really complex. It is the, the standard kind of footwork. But if you've got any other questions that are a bit more advanced, please do let me know, okay? Love to answer them and we'll see you next week. See you guys.